when we, when we, first of all, we deal with um, that particular age called teenage. First of all, in an, in an evolutionary context, the, the positive or affirmative side of it is the teenager is breaking away from the parental fantasies and the societal fantasies in order to discover themselves. So it's really a part of the progress and a part of the evolution of our society. However, in our society, because the underlying story is um, consumerism, underlying story now is endless war and terrorism, uh, the teenager in our society doesn't have anything to hold on to. And so it's creating a level of depression. There's a higher level of dropout rate. There's a higher level of teen suicide or attempted teen, teen suicide because they're living in a, a mental atmosphere of almost hopelessness. You see, no one's casting a large enough vision for them to find their way in it. So there's drug abuse. There's um, dropping out in so many different ways and identifying themselves with the kind of a counterculture of, of vibration, which is oftentimes destructive. Because again, the underlying story is not a healthy story that we're living in. So, so that's one thing. The other thing is all of us are a, a constellation of shifting identities. Um, mother, father, sister, brother, son, employer, employee, there's all these identities and, and there's different personalities that are arise with those identities that show up under, in, un, under different conditions. So you check yourself out and you'll notice that one identity will bring forth a different kind of personality depending on the condition that you're in and those different identities will siphon energy in order to stay alive. Now there is a core identity. There is, um, whether you use scriptural terminology that we're spiritually made in the image and out of the likeness of God, whether we say that we are the light, the light that lighteth of every man and woman that cometh into the world, whether we re represent infinite potential, the field of infinite possibilities, our real identity has never been born and will never die. And uh, once we begin to understand that is the truth of our being, it begins to inform all of the other identities or it begins to help unravel those other identities that may have emerged as a coping mechanism or a defense mechanism based on the societal story we're living in. And as that happens, sometimes there's agony and gnashing and wailing of teeth, there's a transformational angst that one goes through and parts of their identities begin to die as a, a new, more profound identity begins to emerge. So this embracing a new story doesn't always feel good, um, transformation doesn't feel good all the time, but ultimately, uh, as one begins to become more authentic, more their real self, there's a, there's a, a luminous joy, uh, a, a brilliant love, and a, a harmony that begins to speak through us and sing through us and, and radiate through us because we found ourselves and we found our voice and we found our meaning and our real story.